Hey guys, Harry here, and I have another review for you. It's been a long time since I did a review, but this is a book that is very close to my heart, and it is Sword Art Online Anchored Light Novel Volume 1 by Riki Karihara, I think is how you pronounce his name. And this is just the first light novel by Yen Press that has been released. If I remember correctly, in Japan at the moment, there's 14 light novels out, I believe. And this is just the first one. This is just the first part of Anchorage. If you don't know what Sword Art Online is, Sword Art Online is basically uh, set in the world 2022. And it is a virtual MMO RPG, which is a virtual reality, massively multiplayer online role playing game. And in short, uh, we follow the main character, Kirito and his struggles throughout this world. So to give you a quick rundown of the premise of this story of Sword Art Online, the first part of Anchored, once this game is released, there is only the first uh, batch of this game, there was only 10,000 units shipped. So when the game's first up, only 10,000 people go into this virtual MMO RPG game. Now this isn't like any RPG or MMO or any sort of game that we play now because it's a VR game, it's a virtual reality game. And to play this game, basically they have a headset which makes them visualize the world so their body isn't in use at all there's a chip on the back of the headset which cuts all the translation from the brain down to your body so it goes straight into the headset so you can be there swinging your arms in the game and your body doesn't move which is a cool concept and hopefully one day it becomes a reality but this is basically what how this world set up but with this headset and this technology and this game that these people have just dived into because it's the first day of release, everyone wants to play this very limited game that not many people have got copies for. They all jump straight into this world and without knowing the developers have been uh, some snidey sneaky bastards and they've removed the logout button. So these 10,000 people are stuck in this world of Anchorage Sword Art Online and they cannot leave, they can't leave whatsoever. So they're just playing through their normal day and then they get summoned and the, uh, I think it's the developer of the game or the last GM, I think it's the developer of the game. He basically tells all these people they're stuck in this world, you can't leave. Uh, the only way you can get out of this is by defeating the game, climbing all 100 floors of Anchorage. But there's a catch. Typically in an MMORPG, you're going to die. You're going to die a lot. That's how progression in these games work. You have to die to uh, see challenges and to work out a strategy to defeat them. But if you die in Anchored, you die. You don't come back. You don't respawn. And as well as that, your body back in the real world it also dies. The chip and the headset, it basically explodes and you're cut off and you you are no more so basically Sword Art Online is a story of these humans fighting for survival and trying to complete this game so they can get back to reality and not everyone wants to fight there's player killing so there is real life killing even though they're killing a virtual person they're killing the person back and such like that and it's just absolutely amazing so let's get into the uh, meat of this review and what I enjoyed about this book more say the anime was it goes a lot more in to the world it explains like how the headsets and such work uh, which actually I think it explains a little bit in the anime but you get a lot more out of this light novel it wasn't what I was expecting because this is the story of Kirito from when he enters Anchored to the very end of when he leaves Anchored but there is things which are in the anime which isn't in this first light novel because Anchored is split into two light novels so this is the first one and then there's a the second one which is basically the short stories which uh, I found a little bit of a shock because I was expecting to have like a lot in here because I knew that um, the anime was the first four light novels but I didn't realize how the timeline gets a little bit skewed in the light novels it's not as linear as you'd expect which is something good about the anime what was best about the light novel was the progression with the anime the progression felt a little bit janky whereas this you just got the full story from Kirito's perspective and because of that Kirito he felt just you got more of his personality you just got to know him a little bit more because there was more thought progression in the book because obviously he's having to think and you actually get that in the light novel which uh, was very very nice as well as that Asuna in the light novel I enjoyed even more in the anime she was amazing but she is very much just the main female heroine there's no 
substance there's no main arcing this there's no like force behind her character whereas in the book she felt a lot more headstrong her personality comes off as a lot more stubborn in this book as well just because of the way she reacts to Kirito and his personality in the book because obviously his personality comes out a lot more in this so as I was saying about the plot this is very very straightforward it's basically the bare backbone of the Sword Art Online Anchored story because it just takes you through the world from Kirito's perspective from when he first enters the world in the city of beginnings or whatever the first place is called all the way to the end where he fights where he fights someone no spoilers there was a lot of things missing from this book which is in the anime for example a lot of the side stories with the blacksmith and Yui which I was very surprised about Yui wasn't mentioned in this at all which I'm assuming she's a main part in the uh, the second light like, novel which I'll be looking forward to when that comes out overall I really enjoyed this as someone who likes Sword Art Online this was a nice breath of fresh air with the story as well as that just just the actual quality of this book is great because there's a bunch of colour uh, color inserts as well which just adds to the story so there's a couple, couple colour pages at the beginning and then throughout the actual story as well there's black and white insert pages so there's black and white pages as well just to give more substance to the story because something that I found about uh, this light novel that I'm going to assume is a common trait with light novels is there's not a lot of descriptive language in this. It Basically it gives you like a summary and then it doesn't go too in depth about it because after all it is only 245 pages for this and then I'm, I'm going to assume in some of the other light novels there'll be more wo world building and such but it gives you a good example at the beginning of explaining what sort of online is. So overall I definitely recommend this if you like Sword Art Online, if you want to know more about the world, if you want to feel like the characters are more real, I definitely recommend this book. I'd give it probably a 4 out of 5 just because I was expecting more of the story because I'd read the anime first so I guess I've sort of spoiled myself by doing that. Source material, source material is always better, I'll say it once, I'll say it again, source material always great no matter what it is. Personally books just like beat movies no matter what, movies and anime and such like that are great but you cannot defeat source material. So once I read the second one, I'll be able to give a proper comparative review video because I would have read all of the Anchorage story and I'd be able to compare it to the first, I think, Anchorage the first 12 episodes of the anime. So in short, really, really recommend this. I love this. Even though I know the story, still brought a tear to my eye. So overall, guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and all that glorious stuff. If you like Sword Art Online, please let me know in the comments below because season two is coming very soon. So I'm looking forward to that. I may have to do weekly reviews. So we're going to see you guys other than that i shall see you soon goodbye